and welcome to Lake Street News. I'm your host, Mira. And I'm your other host, Saffron. Today we'll have stories about Miss Hardesty, a brush fire, a car crash, and more. In local news, a massive brush fire happened last week. The fire started near East Shore Drive and spread over 10 acres. Multiple departments from Tompkins County responded, along with personnel from several other county departments and New York State Rangers. Residents were kept informed by the county's siren mass notification system. Luckily, only three fires sustained non-life-threatening injuries. Two were treated at the scene, and one is being treated at the local hospital. The New York State Police are leading in the investigation into what sparked the brush fire. On election day last week, an elderly woman accidentally drove her car through the window of a pole site. Luckily, there were no injuries reported, and none of the election equipment was damaged. Officials moved the polling site to a different room on the property. County officials said that they can, quote, confirm there was no malicious intent related to the accident. The elderly driver was deemed safe and was taken home by a sheriff's deputy. As many of you now know, Ms. Hardesty and the administration recently announced to the school that they would start cracking down on unsafe bathroom usage. To combat the issue, teachers have been stationed outside of bathrooms school-wide. According to sources inside the school, a letter is circulating among teachers protesting the decision as it takes away from their planning time with teachers in the same subject areas. Tompkin County's only emergency homeless shelter, the St. John's Community Services Shelter on West State Street, closed its doors to residents Thursday at 2 p.m. The closing comes after a county officials and the shelter's operator could not come to a contract renewal agreement last month. State and county officials have expressed concerns over a series of sometimes violent confrontations between shelter staff and people using the shelter. The county is in the process of building a makeshift shelter facility in the former Key Bank building on Tioga Street downtown, but it is not yet ready for residents. Thank you for watching Lake Street News. And have a good week. Get to class now. Thank go, you. Go, really go, go, go. Can I go? We're, we're doing the rest of your story. Okay. Uh, yes.